everyone, my name is Helen and I got myself a new camera! So, today I will be doing a reading habits tag. And actually I wasn't tagged in particular by anyone, I just really wanted to do this tag. So I asked the book jazz who created it originally if I could do it anyway and she said yes, go for it. So I'm going for it. The reason why I wanted to do this tag is because whenever I follow YouTubers, booktubers, I always want to go for the videos first which are about reading habits. How much you read, which books you read. So I really want to do this tag and yeah, let's get going. The first question is, do you have a place at home for reading? And yeah, I do. I have my couch. Who doesn't? I love my couch and it is comfy and has nice pillows and a blanket and I just love being comfy and maybe make myself a cup of coffee. So my couch is definitely my regular reading place. Question number two, bookmark or random piece of paper? I really really love bookmarks. I think they are pretty but I tend to use random pieces of paper. I don't want to spend money on bookmarks. I just want to have them and I don't always have them so I tend to just grab a piece of paper. But actually these days I do have a very pretty bookmark I think. It's purple and it's pink and it's from Sweden. I went to Sweden during the summer. This is the one that I use these days until it disappears. That means whenever I have a bookmark I use it but I normally use just a random piece of paper. Question number three is can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter? I will have to say that I need to finish the chapters. I hate to stop in the middle of a chapter unless there is a natural break. Actually that kind of stresses me out sometimes because when I have something to do on time and I just need to finish the chapter I feel like I have to stress through the pages. So I, not saying that that's the best way to do it, but I just like reading the chapters. Question number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? Yes, I do drink. I drink lots of coffee or whatever I feel like. Soda, iced tea, milk. No, not milk. But I don't really eat while reading just because I don't like having greasy fingers and turning the pages and then the pages get sticky and I just don't like that. I like my books to be clean and nice all the time. I sometimes perhaps do a little cracker while reading if I feel like it, but it's not something that I normally do. Question number five is, do you multitask while reading? That means do you listen to music or do you watch TV? I used to be really good at multitasking. I could listen to music while reading or I could sit in a room with people talking but I can't do that anymore. I don't know why. I really like that ability but I can't do it anymore. Whenever I'm disturbed, if anyone is talking to me or if the TV is on, I just get too distracted to read. I mean I read the page but nothing gets in and I need to reread. Question number six is if I read one book at a time or several books at once. Another thing that I used to do is that I used to read a lot of books at a time. Just because whenever I felt like reading a book, I didn't want to just wait until I had finished the one I was doing. I wanted to read it right away. You know, if you've just bought a book and you feel like you really want to read it, then you should just do it. But these past months, I have had a tendency to finish my books one at a time. Just because I like getting the feeling of emerging in the story and only focusing on one story at a time. I like it when I only have one story to focus on. So, yes. <sighs> Question number seven. Reading at home or everywhere? Well, as I said before, I easily get distracted so I tend to read at home. Also because I live alone with my cat so no one is here to distract me in my home except for my cat and actually he's quite a bit of a distraction but he's not a person who's talking to me he just gets over to me and says meow and then I'm like okay I will play with you for a little while but I really need to finish this book so I prefer to read at home question number eight do you read out loud or do you read silently in your head I read in my head I, I don't read out loud I think that I would find that very weird if I started to do that just because I would feel like an old person. I don't know, an old person talking to herself. So I read in my head. 
And that brings me to question number nine. Do you read ahead or do you skip pages? I would never read ahead. Why would you ruin the story? I don't understand those people who read the first part of the book and then goes to the last part of the book and read the last page. Because why would you do that? Then you know what is going on and then why would you want to read the rest of the book? So I really don't understand why anyone would want to read ahead unless it is a book that you know you're not going to finish. You know it's too boring or you're not interested in it. Then perhaps I would read ahead just to see if I'm missing out on anything important. But I've never done it so far just because I love to read the whole book and not just the beginning and the end. I used to have a friend who told me she always read the last page before even starting the book, just so that you could know if she would want to read this book or not. But I don't know, can you really figure out what the book is like just by reading the last page? I don't know, I wouldn't be able to. I love to read my books entirely. That brings me to question number 10. Breaking the spine or keeping the book as new? Well, let me see. This is one of my paperbacks and I, I'm guessing that paperbacks are the only books that you can break the spine on. And as you can see, I've read this book one time. It's Cecilia Ehren, by the way. Thanks for the memories. But as you can see, it looks pretty new to me. I don't like to break the spine. Why would you do that once again? I like my books to be clean and pretty. And I hate it when I lend people some books and then they return the books to me with broken spines. I'm like, well, thank you. That was nice. Now I have it on my bookshelves forever with you having broken the spines. Thank you. I don't break the spines. I like my books just looking like new. And that brings me to question number 11. Do you write in your books? I do if it is a book for work or for school. When I was a student, I did tend to write in my books or highlight some lines just because I thought that some of the information was imp important to remember. But I don't write in my books that I read just for fun. Once again, just because I like my books to look nice and pretty and clean. So, yes. And that brings me to the last question. Who do I want to tag for this reading habits tag? Well, I'm pretty new to this booktubing thing, so I'm still learning about other booktubers, and that means I don't have a whole lot of people to choose from. But there is one person that I really like and appreciate, and that is Catriona from Little Book Owl. And if she ever sees this video, I am tagging you. So get going. I really want to learn about your reading habits. And also, I just want to tag whoever wants to do this video. And then you can write to me. I did this video, so please watch it. And I will, I promise. That's it for today. I am so happy to have this new camera. I hope you can see there is a difference in quality. And I will be back soon with another video. So have a nice day everyone and happy reading. Bye bye.